coders or GUI makers. Today we're going to be talking about scrolling frames in Roblox Studio. So without further ado, let's get started. First property, which is probably the most basic here, is scrolling enable. You can choose if the scroll will work or not. So if I turn this off and like, clicked off, I cannot even use it at all. But of course when it's enabled, it will work. We can move on to canvas position and size. When you see canvas position and size, you may think of the GUI size or the GUI position, but that's not exactly what the canvas means. It's sort of a separate thing. So the canvas is how far you can scroll. If we made the number higher for the canvas size, the higher or farther we can scroll our little scroller here. So for example, if we went down to the Y, notice how tall the little scroller is. If we went to the offset, and switched it to, I don't know, 1000 and clicked off. As you can see, it got much shorter because we made it so that the canvas is much bigger. So it gets smaller as, you know, we're scrolling up and down, so it needs a little wider space. With canvas size finished, we want to see canvas position. So basically, it's the position of where you're, the camera is looking at in the canvas. If I add a little text button here and put it somewhere in the middle and clicked out so that I could scroll. As you can see, it changes the position as the little button is moving away, depending on where our canvas camera is. So that's basically what the canvas position is. As you can see, the number changed as I am more in the middle instead of the top. Now we got this little canvas concept out of the way, we can talk about the scrolling images. So the scrolling images, which would be the mid, bottom, and top would be for this little scroller here. If we had a middle image and uploaded it, it would show in the middle here. Sadly, I don't really have an image ready for this example here, but if we possibly deleted it, I believe, it won't show. Yep. So as you can see, now there's literally no bottom to this little scroller here because we removed it. If I do control Z, Control Z. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going to really have a bottom in image, really, unless super saver powers. Scrolling frame. And we can drag it. Yay, we got our bottom image back. But as you saw, just for the bottom image, it removed it completely so there's no bottom. So you could pr try this out with the middle image and the top image to see of where the images would show if you uploaded them, in case you don't have one now, similar to me. So if you wanted to still customize, even though you don't really have images ready, you could always use the scroll bar color. So we just click on this little square here, and we can choose any color we want. Red, blue, you know. I'm going to choose a little purple, like the color of my channel. Click OK. As you can see, the little scroller is now purple, and it works just fine. The last thing I want to show is the scroll bar thickness. So if we set this to 100 for some reason, it takes like half of the screen, a bit too much. So we're going to put that back to 12. Oh, no, I made it bigger. There we go. Okay, that should fix it. And yep, now it's back to normal. Hey, okay, but I want to show this very last one, I promise this vertical scroll bar. If we switch it to left, then it will go on the left side, right will go on right. But I prefer left, so I'll leave it like that. I really hope this helped a lot to get you started on scrolling frames and what they can do. So that would be the end of this video, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye!